Recently, I demonstrated a quick conversion between a var args or string array and a list of strings. And uh, it is working, but I got um, questions regarding the implementation of the factory of method. So let's take a look at the implementation. So depending on the length of the array. So if the array is empty, this happens. So an empty list is returned. And the empty list is created or initialized in a static initializer. So it happens only once. And the question is why, why we need this? And the answer is performance optimization. The assumption is that all empty, um, empty uh, collections are, are equal or identical even. So there is no need to create multiple instances. So more interesting is the case one or two. So in case the, uh, the uh, length of the array is one or two, um, always the list one or two uh, collection is created. So, and the implementation is interesting. It um, has two elements, but if you call the uh, constructor with one parameter, uh, one element is, uh, is set and the other one is empty. And if you call with two parameters, both are set. So the question is, why this? And the answer, list one, one or two is smaller and simpler than a real list, performance optimization again. And the assumption is, um, maybe most of the Java programs um, or in most Java applications, list of is called with one, two, one or two parameters or without any parameter. And uh, in the default case is the list from array where you get uh, a fully loaded but immutable uh, immutable uh, collection. So the answer is the entire theater ins inside the switch um, block switch statement is only because of performance optimizations.